What's up everybody, Gary Simon here. So today, we're gonna do something interesting. We're going to challenge ourselves in terms of UI UX design. Now, when you're building your own project, like your portfolio or some app idea that you had, it's very easy because you get to choose your colors, you get to choose everything about it. But when you're working with an employer or a client, you don't get to do that and you don't have as much freedom. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place upon five different constraints. First, the app idea. This is a, basically a, a list of 111 app ideas. I'm gonna choose a random number, and so I have to stick with it. Next, we're going to choose a random color scheme of some sort here. Next, a font pairing. Next, a pattern. We're gonna have to work a pattern using this cool sort of pattern generator that I found recently. And then also we have to use a vector illustration from this right here. All right, so I really suggest you guys follow along and also go use uh, Twitter hashtag my UI challenge. I just literally came up with that. I'll put it in the description. If you wanna follow along and you want me to see your results, my UI challenge. All right, so as always, make sure to subscribe and let's see if I knock this out of park or completely fail. Now, before we begin, some of you may not know, but early in the year, I released a UI design bootcamp on Scrimba. Now, Scrimba.com is one of the hottest new ways to learn coding as well as design. At Scrimba, you don't just watch videos. No, no, no. You're actually able to modify code in the browser while you learn. My course on UI design features over 100 lessons that are specifically tailored to help you become an awesome UI designer, and they're packed with interactive challenges. So visit the very first line in the description of this YouTube video to access my course along with many others for a very low monthly fee. All right, so in order to pick the random number between uh, 1 and 111, I'm going to use this random.org integers little form. So generate one random integer. Each integer should have a value between 1 and 111. All right, let's go ahead and get numbers. So 110, wow, almost at the very end. Let's hope it's not a crappy idea. All right, so 110, health monitoring app that will not only monitor and keep track of your health, but also will automatically make appointments for your regularly health, regularly scheduled health checkups. This way, the user will not have to remember to make point, appointments manually. All right, so it'll keep track of your, it will monitor and keep track of your health, but it will also make appointments. All right, so that's pretty decent actually. So I'm gonna go ahead to notepad and I'm going to just paste that in here. So I have it off on the other monitor. So we got, so go ahead and do the same thing. Choose a random number and that is your idea that you have to design for. We're gonna be making a land, landing page that you must you know, sell essentially. So good UI design, UX fundamentals. Um, colorhunt.co, that's the next one. Now the way I'm gonna do this is gonna be kind of strange. <laughs> I'm gonna randomly just, I'm gonna close my eyes. You're gonna see my eyes are closed and I'm going to use my mouse scroll wheel. And then also I'm just gonna randomly click on something and we're gonna see if I chose something or not. All right, we'll see if I get it. Hopefully I don't just click on something, some other element that's not on the page. All right, so here I go. Oh my God, that is bland. Seriously, I, I, do, do I really have to use this? I mean, look at that. It's like the lamest one that you could ever pick, I think. Man, that's gonna be tough. All right, you know what? I'm going to do it. I was thinking about stopping the video and just redoing this and editing in, but I mean, that would be kind of lame. I I think the bigger the challenge, you know, the more exciting this will be if I can actually do this. So you can see it shows us the color codes. You click this and it copies it. So that's all I need for uh, when I get into Adobe XD. Crap. All right, font joy. Um, we could just generate r random font pairings. Now this one... If I allow it to, if I try to go just completely random on this, it, this one won't work very well um, because you have to choose fonts that make sense based on the business that you know you're you're trying to design for. So for a health monitoring, you know, app, I mean, it, it doesn't really make sense. You would have like a script font like that uh, anywhere in it. So I'm going to kind of just I uh, click generate. And by the way, this is fontjoy.com. Um, in order to to come up with something that I think 
would work quite well. So it's showing you three different fonts here, Oswald, Tico, and this one. So it's for the uh, headline, subheadline, and then the actual paragraph text. Um, that one's not too bad. Um, let's just keep on generating here until I find something that, all right, so I'm gonna lock this one. So you can lock these once you find something that you like. And then when you hit generate, it's only, it's only gonna generate um, the ones that aren't locked. So I'm just gonna keep going until I think I found a font that might work well in relation um, to the other stuff. Um, I think I may maybe like that one. So really, I'm just looking at this top one and trying to find a font that I think would pair well with it based on the weight, um, the width of the font, the style of the font. I kind of like that. So we're going to go with a thick serif font with just a regular sort of, I, I said sans serif, didn't I? This is the serif font right here. So I, I like that. So now this is, these are all the fonts that we're going to use. All right, so next up, we're going to have to use a pattern of some sort. I don't know why, but we're, we're deciding that we want a pattern. Um, the pattern that color that we use, uh, obviously the colors have to match our color scheme, which is found right here. Now, of course, we don't, I'm not going to need to require that we only have to use these four colors, of course, but we just want to, we want to work in a few of them at least and to, to get the general idea. This is very dull and kind of pastelish. So when it comes to using this, I'm gonna wait until we get to that point uh, in the, the, the design in order to start customizing this. But this is a really cool, pretty dynamic looking uh, sort of pattern generator that you can download um, in different formats like SVG, JPEG, and PNG. Um, there's also customizations that you can do and all that stuff. You can customize all this stuff. So all in all, very cool. Also, the vector illustrations. Um, you know, we could search for an illustration like health. See what happens. So we already got some really good, uh, really, you know, good potential. Okay, so there's only a few that are free. I wonder if we can sort by free. So because what happens if we click this? Um, can I just download it? Okay, so some of these are not free, as you can see. Um, we can download the, this one for free. Um, load next, oops. Yeah, basically I'm just gonna look for the ones that say free because I don't want anybody having to. Yes, yeah, there's some good ones here that I could definitely use, but we're gonna wait until we get to that point. Uh, so now I'm going to step into Adobe XD. You can use Figma, Sketch, whatever you want. You can use MS Paint, I don't care, um, to start designing the actual prototype. All right, so for this next part, it's going to be really silly because I'm talking a million miles per minute, as you can see. But it ended up being like an hour long, and no one's going to sit here watching me talk randomly and senselessly. It wasn't random, but for that long. Uh, so I decided to speed this up. And just so you can, you know, watch this in at least somewhat of a digestible time to see how I come up with this user interface using all of those constraints that I talked about earlier. So I right here, what I'm doing is I'm trying to, to come up with a, a headline, essentially. Um, and I'm trying to also to figure out which type I'm going to be using for the headline and the sub headline. So you can see me mul replicating um, some potential uh, font pairings here with the fonts that we're supposed to use. And then I settled on this one right here. Next up is the actual illustration. Um, so I settled on this one of a girl running just because she looks healthy and it's whimsical. And I think that's, you know, ultimately where, where you know, somebody who might have health issues would want to be. There's even a cat there. But I, I later removed that because it's kind of silly looking. Um, after that, I'm experimenting. You can see I'm making a lot of rapid changes, which is the usual course. You know, I don't, very few people just go out there and just design a UI without actually adjust, adjusting and making tons of adjustments in the way and changes. Um, I did add a primary color um, just so we could use something that does stick out. 
And then here, I'm just, I had a hard, hard, hard time trying to come up with a way to make that pattern work. So I really repositioned it a million times, moving it over, scaling it up and down. So these are all things that you can do to try to make something work. So right here, I decided to, you know, I couldn't figure out a way to make that work. So I decided to just to put a few blips um, of text here and then try to see if I can make it, you know, fit correctly. I decided to put uh, one more so we can kind of have two columns and two rows. And still, I did not like it. So I decided to really just delete a lot of the elements here to make it less prominent so it doesn't compete so much with the call to action above it. And then I add one more section at the bottom here. Um, and I had a hard time with this one as well, as you will see. All right, so for me, I think this is gonna be where I stop it. I'm pretty happy overall for the most part. There's some things I would definitely tweak about it if I had more time. I've been recording for probably almost an hour now. Um, like adding maybe icons here, maybe reworking some things, but just as a general exercise to see if you can use topography, colors, I, you know, using some sort of pattern um, and all that other stuff and using an app idea to, to try to come up with a, you know, at least a portion of a, of a landing page to help se se sell it as really good practice, um, just to take a time out of your day, you know, even if it's just an hour once a week, um, to really try to help you think outside of the box. I think it's a, it's a good, it's a good exercise for sure. So if you want to participate, uh, with this, like I said, um, use the hashtag, Twitter and uh, on Twitter, but for Twitter rather, it's gonna be in the YouTube description. I think it's called My UI Challenge or something like that, whatever. It's in the YouTube description. Uh, and let me know what you came up with using the same sort of formula. All right, as always, make sure to subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you soon, goodbye.